splashdown. A return to Earth means the end of one mission and the start of another. The Department of Defense and NASA divers are preparing for their next big mission, retrieving the Artemis II astronauts after they land back on Earth. This is the first training session with a module capsule in the water with four people on board. It acts and behaves just like the Artemis II, and being able to get on it and be able to climb on top of it and see how much it, it bounces around in the water, that gives them you know, more experience. The practice mission starts with sending one person inside the capsule to see how the astronaut are doing. First guy that gets in there will do assess the condition of the astronauts, verify that they're they're okay, that there's no issues or no, no medical concerns that they have to address. This time, one astronaut is unconscious. The crews work to quickly attach a floating collar around the capsule to prevent it from floating away. They then hook up a large blow-up pad that experts call the front porch. We have different specialized equipment that we would use to do the recovery of multiple people at the same time. Uh, there's also a possibility of bringing in the entire um, capsule into the well deck, uh, depending upon the severity of the injuries. The same practice mission will be done with the same crew several times under different conditions, each scenario building experience. It's amazing how well the whole operations have been going all along. The team has just melded together. This is most of the team that actually goes out and did the recovery for Artemis 1. So these guys have worked together in this kind of specialized activities for a bit of time now. Now, trainings will continue here for the next few weeks, but the next big test will be in San Diego this summer when they bring the capsule over there to test it in open waters. At the Kennedy Space Center, Dave Pergusi, Fox 35 News.